boy. Oh, man. This is, this is the wonderful life with Ronnie and Bo. You know, every once in a while we say, what will the topic be? And we say, oh, that'd work. Yeah. Don't know if we got enough in the tank for that one. Right. But when we say this topic, we just start giggling like little schoolgirls. I know. I know. It, it <laughs> flooded out, and I've, I have to put a diaper on now because I've let yeah, myself. <laughs> yeah, it's a good topic ahead, but we're going to make you wait. Yes. We're, we're going to start you, you with a Ronnie and Bo poll, which happens to do with, with the, the topic. So this has never happened before in the history right. of our podcast, That's right. where the, the, the first segment leads into the second segment. <laughs> I mean, this is mind-blowing today. The uh, Ronnie and Bo Show is brought to you by Prescott Realty at prescottrealty.com. That is correct. You can call them today for a no-commitment free consultation at 928-851-4500, and uh, one of their team of specialists there. They've got specialists that specialize in the buying or the selling or right. the first time home buying. And uh, they will do amazing work with you. So give them a call. Two offices are served, downtown Prescott and Williamson Valley. And of course, uh, as we always say, challenge lies in hiring the right real estate company with specialty agents to customize your needs. That's correct. They've been helping folks in the greater Prescott area since 1991. So why not let them help you with your largest financial decision that you'll have to make? You know, if people look at our website, if people listen on iTunes, yes. they probably think you and I have hired a bunch of college geeks <laughs> from Yavapai College, and we've got about eight people in, in our office here. Yeah, in our production crew. It's yeah, not I know. true. No, it's not. You do half of it, I do half of it, and then... Right, and we, we screw it up. We spend three quarters of the time messing something up, breaking something, posting eight times the exact same thing <laughs> and having to go fix it. Wait a minute. When we make our web page, why don't we make the links to uh, our social media 35 inches? No, let's make them 18 inches. Yeah, no, we, they look better at 33 inches. Right. Oh, wait a minute. They're supposed to be pixels, not inches. Oh, oh wait let's a minute. start all over. Stop right there. Let's save what we just talked about and preview it. Yeah, exactly. My... My my four year old could better navigate <laughs> the tech and the social media than I can, and so maybe we should hire them. But we do have something very exciting. We have a new website. Yeah. Ronnie and Bo Show dot com. Exactly. And it looks pretty sleek in black. It is. It's getting there. And it's and getting there. You can actually dive in and interact with us, connect with us there. And you know what else we do? We put an Amazon link, a little banner on there. Right. And if you shop at Amazon, yeah. let's say you're going to go get your pet food. Yeah. You're always shopping. You're going to get your headboard. You know, Amazon does everything. Right. You can click on the banner on the Ronnie and Bo show. Yeah. Do your shopping. doesn't cost you any more, and it supports the Ronnie and Bo show. Exactly. Exactly. So if you're so. an Amazon shopper, uh, click on the Amazon link or banner on the RonnieandBoShow.com. That's perfect. Page. And then at the same time, while you're shopping and in the shopping mood, you, you need mm -hmm. a Ronnie and Bo hat, maybe? Ooh. Or a Ronnie and Bo t shirt. Yeah. Uh, then you wouldn't do that through Amazon, but you do that right through our own We're website. We're not selling them on Amazon yet. Not yet. <laughs> no. no. We're selling them out of the back of our car. <laughs> we still have Bo. Riding up on a horse, delivering <laughs> your merch without so, a shirt. Let's get to the Ronnie and Bo poll. Okay. Uh, so we did one Ronnie and Bo poll that was all about you. And Which we did one. Famous musicians I met. Right. And then we did one that was all about me. And so this Ronnie and Bo poll is something that we have in common. Oh, man. This is a question that we have in common that, uh, ironically, we shared a moment with not someone. Not at the same time. And not at the same time, because we didn't know each other until a few years ago. And this happened many, many moons ago. Yes. And so here's the Ronnie and Bo poll. Decades ago. For today. Correct. Uh, here's the question. Which of the following game show hosts did both Ronnie and Bo meet in the past? <laughs> okay, we, yeah. I buzzed in. Oh, you buzzed. <laughs> I buzzed in. I beat you. I got to do you I did. Get, are you going to let me answer you, now? Yeah, you you win a t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's your answer? 
I have no idea. Okay, well, you, you need I to, know who I met. You buzzed in too early. Oh, you, so you I'm know the rules to these game shows. Now? Yeah, and you need to wait until all of Bo Woods. Please wait until all four of your options are given to you. So, oh, which right. of the following game show hosts did Ronnie and Bo meet? Uh, which so one of these is the one that we both met. Okay. Okay. Uh, number one. Pat Sajak. Oh, man. He was so funny. Yes. Number two, Drew Carey. Rude. <laughs> I, no, no, I'm sorry, Drew. I, I Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I was about to tell you a story about Drew Carey, no, but I might give things hang away. on. Uh, number three, <laughs> Chuck Willery. And number four, Wink Martindale. That's the most fun one to say. You didn't know this, but you don't have to wink when you say his name. <laughs> that sounds like one of those names that you make up, you know, to find out what your, you know, your game show host name would be. <laughs> you know, what's your favorite bodily gesture <laughs> mixed with the street name and your dad's middle name? That's wow, right. That's Wink Martindale. Martindale. <laughs> uh, so Pat Sajak, uh, Drew Carey, Chuck Willery, or... Wink, Wink Martindale. Martindale. Those are your options. Which one did we both Only meet? one. Only one of those did oh, we, I'm gonna we throw meet. In, I'm going to throw in a little monkey wrench. Okay. I may have met more than one Ooh. on that list. Me too. But maybe, but we've only met one. Right, to both of us. Yeah, so, so um, hang in there. You've got to wait till the end of this episode to find out the answer. You mean the episode's not over? We've been we've been hitting them over the head with T-shirt sales. I figured we've already gone twenty minutes. No, we are we are just <laughs> warming up. We are just warming up. And so, uh, <laughs> speaking of game show hosts, I, I just thought that uh, why don't we just, just roll with it? This is the best the subject ever. I mean, <laughs> uh, when you're listening right now, I bet you start thinking of your favorite game shows, right? But sometimes. It's your favorite, not because the game's any good, just because the game show host is good. And a lot of times I know the guy, but I don't know his name, you know, in your, eye, in oh, your mind's totally. eye. Yeah, exactly. You remember watching and, him as a kid. Yeah, and so maybe we'll have to help some of the listeners out and connect some dots. Have you ever been on a game show? I have never been on one. Huh. I, I have seen, I've seen one. Have you, have you been on yes, one? Yes, I've been on a couple. Okay. I was on um, Name That Tune oh. Type. No, yeah. not name oh, that tune. Okay. By the way, we just thought of somebody. Who's yeah. the guy that does Love uh, Connection and name that tune? Love Connection, well, you remember? Uh, Chuck you Willery. No. No. no the guy. Oh, that, I said Bob Love Eubanks. Connection. I meant, um, oh, this is the whole podcast. It's going to be like this. Oh, you know that guy? no. Lang, no? Artie Lang? No, no. What was the guy that, that kissed the dating game? Oh. Mwah, that kissed at the end? What was his name? He was uh, an all-time disc jockey. Yes. And he was on the dating game and name Jim that Lang. tune. Jim Lang. Jim Love that Lang. Guy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this, this is what the podcast is going to consist of. I know. You and me going, oh, you, you know that, that, you know, that. and then we'll. Yeah. And everybody at home is yelling it out or on their phone listening. They're yelling <laughs> it out. So uh, I was on an MTV oh. video game that was sort of like Name That Tune. Oh, cool. It was the same concept. Okay. Awesome. And uh, I won. You did win? Yep. And That's I had to pay taxes on some writing pens. A set of writing pens oh, is my gift. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, These man. writing pens, this three pack of art, artistic writing pens, were valued at one hundred and sixty dollars. I had to pay taxes on it. <laughs> but anyway, and that guy's name was a comedian, Bill Shoemaker, oh. and he had an alter ego called the Love Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you Google Ron when you go home. Google. Uh, there's uh, no way I'm googling Shoemaker. love monster. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I will not. I will be in severe trouble if I Google yeah. love yeah. monster. Yeah. <laughs> Either that, or if you die at your keyboard and the FBI <laughs> comes in and says, "Wait a minute, it was only the love uh, master <laughs> monster." <laughs> so you know, you might look oh, good. Oh man, you know? yeah, that's so, that's true. Um, that's true. Well, th you know, there's a there's a wave that's kind of come back of of mm -hmm. new game show like old game shows, but now they're rebooting them. Right. Alec Baldwin's doing Match, match game, game, but do you remember the original Match Game guy? Well, I'm gonna say what I think the okay. original was, yeah. but there may have been one before him. Gene yeah. Rayburn. Yeah, I think that's it's, that's the one I'm familiar with. And what was the deal with original both class. both Gene Rayburn? <laughs> <laughs> and Bob Barker 
had the microphone that was about <laughs> four feet long yeah. with the tiny marshmallow on the top. Yeah, it was the pencil style. Yeah. We need those exactly. for our podcast. We, we just hold them down there by our <laughs> by our hip. I love those <laughs> Those were great. And those were good. Gene Rayburn, that was, that was a good guy right there. Because yeah. right? um, they have the old ones on... Uh, you know, on oh, some of those old videos, old, and stuff. like on just some random TV site network, or something. Yeah, yeah, or TV yeah. network for sure. And uh, you know, Steve Harvey has taken over uh, Family Feud. Richard Dawson, oh, man. Richard Dawson, I had to kiss everybody. Does that not creep you? Anna cannot stand him because he kisses everybody. I don't know if he died of natural ages or <laughs> mononucleosis. <laughs> 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 exactly. Uh, yeah, he he was quite. But the you just said Steve Harvey, the current host, but there right. were a couple, you know. Yeah, you had a couple um, in between. There was a guy named Ray Combs. R- Ray Combs, and yep. and and I have uh, one of these things. I know the guy, but I don't remember his name. Yeah, uh, you know, Louis oh, Anderson. Louis remember? Anderson. Remember? I loved <laughs> Louis Anderson. Wouldn't you love? I don't know what your you know. I grew up. I wanted to be on the radio. I wanted to be a disc jockey. I wanted to be an announcer. I wanted to be a broadcaster. Yes. You wanted to be a comedian. Yeah. You are in public speaking. Yes. Uh, do you ever say to yourself and tell me I'm not alone? Yeah. It would be a great job to be a game I would show host. Absolutely love to be. It might be my my dream job. I would rather be a game show host than a talk show host. Oh, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. And maybe that like Ellen DeGeneres right now. Yeah. She's. She's got her own show that she's had forever, but then now she's got the Ellen's Game of Games. Oh, I didn't know that. And I, I caught one episode on it. It was fantastic, but I can see why. I can see why. Okay, Pat I'm going to just... Jack and Alex Trebek. <laughs> I mean, you got Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. I think, I think Pat Sajak now holds the record. Okay. For like the most consecutive TV episodes or maybe the longest running you know who game created show? the game show Wheel oh, of Fortune? No. Oh, no. You do. I, I've got I the do. answer. It's, uh, Merv Griffin. Griffin. Yes. That's right. He was a talk show host, maybe a game show host yes. in his day. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. And I'm sure, well, I, I don't know who it was, but there was a host before Alex Trebek on... Um, on Jeopardy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm, but, and I've he's never, been on there forever, right? I've only known... The, Decades. Uh, yep. Yeah, I've only known the, the Trebek uh, for, for that. I, I was a, out. I have a Pat Sajak story. Okay, I did not meet him, but one, when we were living in LA, we got to go see uh, uh, American Idol get filmed, uh, and we were in the audience in American Idol. Okay, and it was the it was one of the seasons where the the judges included uh, J Lo, mm-hmm. and uh, I think Randy Jackson was still on there, but they had Steven Tyler. The Aerosmith okay. guy. Yeah, I remember okay. those years. And um, and in the crowd, just <laughs> watching the the show, a fan w- was Pat Sajak. Wow. Okay. And so that now I'm freaking out a little bit because I, I, in my eye shot, you know, you got Seacrest and you got J Lo and you've yeah. got you you've got Steven Tyler, which just I mean he looks and then Pat Sajak sitting right there and then actually over uh, our shoulder the other direction was Kate Hudson. Hmm. Uh, the actress, Kurt Russell's so daughter. So so famous that, that Hollywood stars were just showing up to watch the show. Yeah, because they could get the VIP treatment. The show ends. It's popular. And they start shipping people out, you know, and it, but it takes a while to get the crowd out. So we're standing there, and you're watching, you know, the, the, the hosts stand up, and they're stretching and whatnot, and then the weirdest thing happened. It, what? Steven Tyler turns around <laughs> and gets eye shot with Pat Sajak and goes, oh, buddy. And they, they looked like long lost friends and it went into slow-mo and they start running toward each other. Pat Sajak, the <laughs> most like straight laced in exactly. his suit and tie. Yep. And then Aerosmith lead singer and they embrace. And then for the next 10 minutes that we're sitting there waiting, they're just talking and Throwing their heads. Buds. That was I loved that image. So being in radio, I learned one time that Pace, that Pat Sajak yeah. owned or maybe still owns an AM radio station <laughs> on his own. Wow. Uh, in Annapolis, Maryland. <laughs> and it's just a single station and he just loves playing with it. Good for Pat. Bob Eubanks. Oh, Bob man. Barker. Bob Eubanks, Bert Convy. Bert Convy is is my favorite. I just have to say, really? I, have, I have two favorites. 
Bert Convy's one of them because he did one of the versions of Password. Okay. And uh, I remember him where they had to draw. Yeah. On the, you know, and they had to guess, you know? Yes. What oh, that's yeah. Called. Win, lose, or draw. Something like that. Yes. It was like, remember <laughs> I that? loved that. Yeah, he was that on that was with good. the two teams. Yeah. Um, I got a couple of quick mentions. Okay. Monty Hall. Oh, uh, yeah. I've got a great friend who, who who's a disc jockey who worked with my father. Okay. And then I worked with him a little bit. Yeah. So he was in between uh, our age. Cool. He was um, a morning guy in Los Angeles. Yeah. And a lot of those guys do do some TV work, announcing stuff. Wow. So my buddy Dean Goss. Okay. The former morning guy at K Earth 101 in yeah. the 80s. Yeah. He moonlighted as the announcer for Monty Hall's. Oh, my goodness. For his show. show. Yeah. Oh, man. And he would be, tell him, tell him what's behind door number one, yeah, Dean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I loved that. That, that, was, that was so good. Uh, what, what's the name of it? Um, let's make a deal. Let's there make you go. a deal. That's and good. Bob Eubanks was, uh, Bob Eubanks did, yeah. what, what ones did he do? Well, he, the, hot, the, the he did the dating, newlywed game. He did new, newlywed, newlywed game. Newlywed game. And a That's couple right. of things, right? Well, and some of those, and I, uh, like, I remember him huge from... Uh, uh, if you grew up the Rose, the Rose Parade. Parade, yeah, he and Stephanie Edwards, yep, you know, and they just stopped a year or two ago. But you had to be KTLA Channel Five in Los Angeles. So Bob Eubanks, so good. Bob Eubanks in the '60s was a disc jockey in Los Angeles. Bob Eubanks was, wow. and he went down and put a mortgage on his house, pulled money out of his house, yeah, refied his house to pay. To have the Beatles come to the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, man. And uh, he brought them in. Uh, he was the promoter. He brought the Beatles into the Hollywood Bowl in the that's 60s. Cute. He also did uh, Card Sharks <laughs> for a while. <laughs> yep. And, uh, and, and that's the, I remember that one for, for sure. Uh, Bill Cullen. I, don't, I know his name, but I can't remember what he, he did. He's an he, uh, older guy, and I think he was the one that was... No, was he? No. Alan married L- to Alan Ludden. Oh, you got me on that. Yeah. yeah. Alan Ludden, married to Betty White. And uh, <laughs> this is useless trivia, suddenly degenerated into. So Wink Martindale. Uh-huh. Um, that, that is. That's just one of my, my favorite names. and uh, It's a he, great name. He's, he seemed to me like a classic uh, game show host. I have a hard time picturing him doing anything uh, but hosting a game show alan ludden that was yeah alan we, we said that right right yeah 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 but um, uh but wink martindale uh, first game show was called what's this song but the one i remember him from was called tic tac doe that was it you remember that yeah <laughs> tic tac doe um but uh dick clark you know yeah, american oh, bandstand man. and all the radio stuff he was on the pyramid yeah, yeah, and and Probably he had he, a piece of that. He produced a ton. Can I tell you who my? It might be my all-time favorite. Uh, other Bert Convy and yeah. Wink Martindale, they got to be up there. But um, and this is going to be a rare one because I don't know that he did any others. Uh huh. But his name is Peter Tamarkin. Now, see, and, I don't know that. He, yeah, he probably knows face. He did a game show uh, that I, I'm going to give you a hint, and if you're listening. Um, then try to try to guess the game show. No whammy, no whammy, stop! Oh, I know what you're and talking you hit about. Hit that big plunger, and then the little cartoon whammy would come out and gobble up your money. What and that that was um, that that was uh, called press your luck. There you go. Yeah, press your luck, and uh, that's a good one. Bob Barker. Have we mentioned Bob Barker yet? Yes. And you I know mean, who we haven't mentioned? Who? Who's on America's Got Talent? Oh, Howie Mandel Howie did the Mandel. biggest show in primetime. Deal or no deal? Deal or no deal. Howie Mandel. I got another one for you real quick. How yes. about the guy that started out as a newsman in radio in the 50s in San Diego? Oh. Regis Philbin. Yeah. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yeah, Regis. He, he really he started a wave there of like legitimate actors or talk show hosts coming over to do game shows, which is just uh, What was that? I, we won't cool. be able to find it, but wasn't there a TV show called Treasure Hunt? 
Oh. Do you remember that? I remember right. a studio of just cardboard boxes that were all ra- wrapped, and you yes. had to find the dollar ninety nine tag in yes. five hundred boxes or something. Like that. Treasure I remember hunt? That. Is that not right? Yeah, no. There was a version in the fifties and the seventies and uh, the the eighties. Uh, Jan Murray, uh, really old time comedian who mm-hmm. I actually saw when I was like eight nine years old in a restaurant. He came in with. Uh, Danny Thomas and <laughs> Sid fantastic. Caesar and Sid Caesar. Unbelievable. And I, I, at the time, I didn't know who they were, but my grandparents were freaking out and told me. And uh, uh, that that's cool. The '80s one of Treasure Hunt is the one I probably would. I think that's and the one, that's I the one that. And I know you like this guy because you just freaked out before the show started. Jeff Edwards was the host of <laughs> Treasure it. Hunt, yes. and that was the it's a Jeff Edwards Stu Billet production yes, or something like that. They it. were they were game show hosts that got into the production side. Yep. yep. Um, a couple. Let's just do a quick laundry list. Rip Taylor. Oh yeah, Wayne Brady had the dollar ninety eight uh, beauty show. Oh, Wayne Brady is yeah. doing the new uh, Price Is Right. Yep. And, um, and Alan Thicke was uh, oh, a person who did man. that. Remember him? I'm still sad. Uh, he was yeah. my favorite TV show dad. That uh, is for sure. Yeah. There's Peter Tamarkin. I just I got to look at his picture. Oh yeah, man, you... you would never. <laughs> if he walked down the street, you wouldn't know. You'd, you'd know who he was, but you would never. No. Nope. In a million years, no. you could be standing in your living room. You still wouldn't remember. Yeah. Yeah. But Gosh. man, that yeah, that was those, that's when they were all chiseled and they had the yes. hair all you know. Yeah. Tom Bergeron. Oh sure, I liked him. He did oh, the Hollywood Squares I reboot. Just, but who did the? I, I'm gonna tell you. Oh okay. Um, Went down to, and I, I'm not going to tell you, but I went down to San Miguel de Allende, yes. a town in Mexico that's 457 years old, and uh, the guy who who did the original one, and I don't know if it was the original, yeah. P- Peter Marshall. Oh, that's he right. Has, no, it wasn't Peter Marshall, but there's another guy. Peter Marshall. Oh, me. Davidson. John Davidson. Did oh, he not do it? John Did Davidson. he do it too or no? <laughs> this is like huh? reaching into my childhood guts. But you remember uh, Peter Marshall. Yeah. On Hollywood Squares. And I don't know if John Davidson did Hollywood Squares or if I just remember him from another game show. Yeah. Those and, are just a couple then, cool names, just, huh? Who was the funny... This wasn't the host, but on Hollywood Squares, for a long time he was the center square and he had been oh. on Bewitched. Oh, come on. You're just teasing me. No. I could say that. I could, If you said center square, I could give you the answer. <laughs> okay? Uh, and his name and was it, Paul Lind. Yes. Yeah. Hello, now, this fun is, seekers. This, this is not <laughs> grammatically correct. <laughs> okay. And it'll probably end our podcast. Yes. And, and we'll go down in flames. All right. All right. I'm fine with that. Paul, the Rio Grande <laughs> River runs through America, the United States, and Mexico. On the United States side, it's called the Rio Grande. What's the name of the river portion that runs through Mexico? A washing machine! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my. Oh, that's too good. Oh, I well, love you, Bo, for doing that. That just made my whole well, my thank whole you, man. day. Thank uh, you, man. Yeah. Well, we will we will never make it to the uh, bonus round. I don't think you and I are smart enough. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. But I do. I am convinced that we probably have an affection for more game show hosts than any other human beings. And I'm ever. sure there's a dozen or two that we've left out. Oh man, that's for sure. So hey. back to the 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 Ronnie and Bo poll. Sure. Um, so. Uh, which of the following game show hosts did both of us meet at some point? That that was the question, and uh, I think the we choices. actually mentioned all of them. Okay, let's go down the line. Okay, number one was Pat Sajak. Um, no, I've never met him. No, no you were. I never no, met him. You saw but a story I, or heard I a story. saw him from afar. Okay. Uh, number two was Drew Carey. I did meet Drew Carey. You did meet Drew. At and the Bob's I, Big Boy in Burbank. And we were sitting on the bar stools, and I was facing my friends, yep. and I sat back in my bar stool. He was on my left shoulder. Wow. Unbelievable. I talked well, to him. Well, okay, so Drew Carey, um, that is not the right answer, okay. because I did not meet him, but I did see him also at the Bob's Big Boy in Burbank. Burbank. Okay, so, you so I saw know. him from afar, okay. but did not meet him. So, so now wait a minute. If you're keeping count, right. you're scaring me. Don't tell us we both met Wink Martindale. 
<laughs> There's only Chuck Woolery and Wink Martindale left, and I did not meet Wink Martindale. And I was a contestant on The Love Connection. Which was hosted by Chuck Woolery. Sat on the couch right next to him. You, you <laughs> met and spent time. You shared airspace and breath with the marvelous Chuck Woolery. And when we returned in two and two, we'll be right back in two and I two. I made a love connection. Did you tell not me? with Chuck though? No, I assume. No. <laughs> okay. So tell me about your meeting with uh, and Chuck. So Woolery. I I met Chuck Woolery uh, as an elementary school kid uh, when growing up in L.A. Whenever we'd have have. Uh, um, uh, uh, what were they called when you go field trips? Uh, field trips? Yeah, we went on a field trip. It was always to a taping of some show, and we went and uh, and saw a taping of the game show Scrabble. Okay, <laughs> which also hosted by Chuck Willery. That was and, cool. And uh, he was going down the line, uh, meeting us and saying hello and whatnot. And you could tell he was he was hating every oh, single was? <laughs> minute he, of he it. He wasn't gracious. No, and my friend Casey. Uh, next to me, he'd, he'd already interacted, and then my friend Casey said, "Love you, Chuck." Nice, and, and that is nice. You know, a little elementary kid that yeah. you know, looks up to this kid. And Ch- Chuck <laughs> turned around over his shoulder while walking away and said, "Yeah, whatever, kid," <laughs> and just kept and that's, walking. And that's why Chuck is now selling copper bracelets today <laughs> on infomercials. Exactly. I want exactly. to thank Prescott Realty for sponsoring this episode of the Ronnie and Bo Show. That is for sure. If you're a first-time home buyer, uh, then you'll want to talk to Kylie Elliott. She is the first-time home buyer specialist, and uh, she's an expert in her field. So call Prescott Realty today, 928-851-4500, and ask for... Kylie. That is right. Or you can email them at info at prescottrealty.com. You know, we try to sell these uh, Ronnie and Bo hats and Ronnie and Bo t-shirts. Yep. And I was thinking in my mind, it would be great to get one of the hats yes. and see how far that hat could go. Uh, <laughs> you know, could we get it on somebody's head yes. and take a picture take and then pictures. see where it went? And Yeah, like or, Flat Stanley or uh, exactly. people. Exactly. Exactly. And then That's just, what I want to do. Ooh. I would like that. Well, so we'd have we to, need to we'd figure have to out a little offer a, a special prize yeah. to whomever buys one and then takes it on world travels. That's right. Yeah. Or the, the most unique post with the Ronnie and Bo hat. Yes. Well, if you need a hat or a shirt, then just message us on Facebook or Instagram and we can hook you up. Um, Thanks for listening on all our uh, podcast providers. Yep, and please connect with us on our website, RonnieAndBoShow.com, as that is being built. And Facebook and Instagram and Twitter are good as well. And if you're shopping on Amazon, use our banner. Go to RonnieAndBoShow.com, click on that banner, and that helps support the Ronnie and Bo Show. That is right. And that is the final round of this episode. That's the final answer. That is the final answer. We'll see you in two and two.